Good morning. It's that day. We're going to Nazare. Day 104 of big wave training. It's actually really good there right now, so I've got some serious FOMO. It's gonna be good. We've got a flight at 12. You guys are coming with me. Let's get today started. I'm pretty excited. I'm a little nervous. Because it's gonna be really big, like the day that I get there. But it should be fun. We have to get there first. And hopefully I don't just get absolutely ripped to shreds by board bag fees. Oh my gosh. I checked in on the app and it didn't make me pay for board bags. And I put that I was taking two. So I don't, I don't know. It's either you get something, somebody really nice uh, or you get somebody really mean. There's really no in between uh, on, these, on this front. <laughs> they either hate surfers with all of their will or they're stoked and they just want to help you out. And I hope they want to help me out because I don't want them to be too expensive. <laughs> because they only let you take one. So I have six, by the way. <laughs> and that's not even that many. LAX traffic. I'm just checking the waves. Not that it matters. Because <laughs> I'm not there. Nazare is like probably the most one of the most special waves in the entire world. I, not probably, but it's for sure one of the most special waves in the entire world because of its proximity to like its proximity to the storms, meaning it's not too close and not too far away from a lot of the storms. The fact that it has one of the deepest canyons in the Atlantic running up into it, so that that wave energy then gets funneled through the canyon and meets up with other waves and forms those big A-frame peaks because wave energy not only sticks above the surface, it extends really deep and oftentimes to the bottom, of the oftentimes into the ocean floor. So that energy will then bounce and refract off of canyon walls like the one in Nazare and then get funneled and pushed into one specific spot. So it's just this crazy requirements that make a big wave special. And all the best big waves in the world share all of those requirements. Maverick, same thing, deep canyon, steep up into a shallow reef. A Jaws, same thing, real deep canyon, steep up into a shallow reef. It's pretty insane how spectacular it is and why there's so few and why it's so special. What about Waimea and Pipeline? Same thing. Yeah, Waimea has a, it has a super deep canyon that runs along the ocean that funnels the energy all into there. Life of a big wave surfer. Oh, well, there's only 10 bags. See what I mean about the board bag feeds? Well, this should be interesting. It should always be fun. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Oh my god. I wish I could have recorded that shit. Look at I got a cart. This. But look at how sweaty I am. I just had to walk three terminals because I got dropped off at the wrong one. I thought I was going international, but Terminal 6. <laughs> Welcome to the life. We're in. They didn't even charge me for bags. It's crazy. And they were both way overweight. Boarding the flight. 14 hours in the land of Scary waves. I've landed in Toronto and I need to go get something to eat because I haven't eaten anything yet. And then we got another flight in like two hours, got a little delayed. We'll be in Portugal nice and early tomorrow morning. Ah, oh, well, that's pretty neat. Twenty-two bucks for a burger. Hi. We'll see if it's any good. We'll see how good this twenty-dollar burger actually is. It looks pretty, pretty sad. Like they just kind of threw it together. It kind of tastes like a habit. The burger was all right. I'm uh, waiting to go. I have a credit card that gets me into some of these lounges. I grabbed some uh, blueberry things and some animal crackers. We're gonna go chill out, maybe drink some coffee, I don't know. Boarding my flight to Portugal. Gonna have to end this here. We'll see you tomorrow. Straight to Nazareth.